Let's go! Oh, I got it, baby! Woo! What is it? It's a shark! Where are we at, Jerem? We're here at South Hydro Island. What are we gonna do, man? We're gonna do some uh, surf fishing today. Let's do it. Check it out. Damn, son. A little Kydex. A little mag holder. Damn, dude. Magazine, nut clip. Yes, sir, bro. We see you, man. You my, take care. my little one. Yeah. Be you careful. Yes, sir. There you go. You don't have fish price, what? What? Where are you at? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, so we can find yeah, somewhere. This is the best I've seen, right? that, does that work very well? That's what I was about to ask you, sir. <laughs> no, <true. laughs> I was about to ask you. No, the I, we've used a shrimp one before, fish bites, and that one works. Okay. But uh, it's really cool because you just like, cut a small piece off, Perfect. and you use a small little hook at oh, the at the oh, surf. Small. Okay. And you catch whitings like crazy. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, wow. it's super durable, and it's better than live bait because your hands don't smell like live bait. Yeah. So, but we, now you gotta actually call someone. That's crazy. Before you can actually just pull it off. Well, they had those at the grocery store. I was looking at it, but I didn't know. Yeah. They use a smaller hook. Yeah, like the size one, the smallest hook. Okay. Cool. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thanks. You can get we can get these though. Shrimp, three fifty. Just we'll get shrimp and we'll get a crab because they have crab. Just one pack. Oh, there's someone there. I went to, uh, I was in college uh, roommates with that guy. It's cool, cool dude. Yeah. What are those, the big ones? Let me see this, so I can play the GoPro. Got the fish bites, shrimp flavor, and a, a spider sinker. We already got the double shot rig, double drop rigs, and we got some, I got some hooks too in the, in the truck, so we're good. All right, guys, we got the stuff. Shout out to Joseph, if you're watching this video, bro. Haven't seen you in a while, man. Back in the college days. So we got like six surf rods. Actually, no, we got four surf rods, and I got one 4,000 have some top waters that I might be throwing around because there's no wind right now. So just in case we see something working the shoreline or the uh, coastline, I'm gonna be able to cast to it and see if we can get something. Got these big old top waters right here. Got some quarter ounce jig heads, top water, top water, and some uh, AM, I'm sorry, some TNT lures. So see what we can do, see what we can do with it. You ready? Let's go get some, uh, some, some mullet, hopefully. They can't really do anything, huh? What's up, buddy? How you doing? Perch, mullet. Yeah. There's there's a guy that told me that you're supposed to use it a, di a different way, though. But I don't. I, we have some fresh dead bait. Where's it at, brother? Right on the uh, other. Pool. On the other pool? If you wanted some, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, did. Oh, Wanna get them? The yeah. What's up, buddy? This is really doing, bro. Oh. Are you good? Those are ten ninety nine, right? Eighteen ninety nine. The big, they're the biggest ones. Eighteen ninety nine. No, I'm joking. I don't, don't want to get you in trouble. What is that? Should be eighteen ninety nine. If it's the longest one, it's eighteen ninety nine. What is it, that man? Oh no, you're good, bro. Nah, they just take it off our checks. Nah, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Do they really? Yeah, he got. He sold a phone for 50 bucks, worth 150. Oh. No. That's all right, nah. God bless you. Thanks, buddy. I'll catch them all, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Fuck. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, well, that sucks. If you sell the wrong uh, stuff here, they'll take it out of your check. Crazy. Put that on YouTube so they can be like, dude, that sucks. Yeah, he's, he's really doing it. Right. Quarter? <laughs> Did you find a quarter? Oh, damn. What's the coolest What's the coolest thing you found out here, man? What's the coolest thing that you found out here? No, no, no rings, nothing like that. My buddy has, but I. That's cool. That's cool, man. I've never seen. I've never seen that. That's all I was asking. Looks cool. Yeah. Have a good one, man. Good luck. So you see how the waves are breaking, right? 
like down right there, the, the, wave, the wave rope, and it's the dark spot right there, yeah. that's uh, considered a sandbar. So we can throw the lures there, and then a little bit behind that, we can throw the deeper one. See where there's no waves behind that? Yeah. There's nothing breaking. Ah. All, you see the waves breaking oh, way over there? Yeah. All that's breaking, but there's nothing breaking right there, that little area. Oh, right there. Yeah, see where it's breaking back behind it? Yeah. But nothing right here, so we should be able to cast in that little trough, and then this sandbar's right here, and there should be a trough right behind that sandbar. I don't know, sound, sounded good. <laughs> Let's do it, boys and girls. All right, guys, we're out here at South Padre out in Texas. We're gonna be doing some surf fishing with some fish bites, and we do have some cut mullet as well. It is a little windy, so I'm gonna be talking as loud as I can without getting you guys annoyed. We're gonna be throwing a double drop rig with a spider weight on the bottom. I have a 4,000 rod just in case we see some type of action. I can throw a top water. And then I also have this big boy right here that I'm gonna throw out there with some cut mullet. I'm still learning how to read the sandbars and the surfs and all that stuff. So there should be an area right here. We're gonna give it about an hour. If not, we'll go down a little bit and see what else we can find. But there should be a nice trough right here that I picked out to cast the lures, cast a cup mullet. There's gonna be a sandbar right here. That's where the waves are breaking and I'm gonna cast some fish bites. Hopefully we can catch some whiting. Let's try it. Let's try it out. Now nah, we just got fresh mullet. Got some homemade uh, fish holders right here. We're gonna go out and get some fancy ones eventually. Got some fish bite, fish bites, and some spider weights. Made another one of these right here. Made this big one. Let's try using this one first. Because there's a lot of whitings here. We're gonna be targeting those, try to catch some fish. We're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna have to try to have some FUN. Some fun. It's for the kids. Yeah, it's for the kids. It's for the kids, man. I'm gonna toss his first fish bites right here out there. Yes, ma'am. Just over there, if y'all want it, for y'all's tackle box. Oh, where's it at? Uh, see that black oh, yeah, yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah. that's the nice. thing y'all's tackle box. Unless they, kill, unless they kill someone with it, all right? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'll get it. All right, chunk this baby out there. Right there. Got one set up. Apparently there's a there's a free knife over here that someone dropped. Let's pick it up. So we're what we're looking for when we're fishing the surf, your rod's out there, right? It's gonna be going up and down because of the waves. Once you see like an erratic action, something like going pretty fast, or you just see that rod go all the way down, then that's where you're gonna have a fish. Got one rod right here, one fish bite on the first sandbar. That one's like in the second sandbar, and I'm gonna try to chunk out some mullet right behind the first sandbar in the little trough. See what we can catch. I got one one uh, fish bite on the first sandbar. If, there, if we catch from there, then you have one on the second one, and I'm gonna catch this one like in the middle. Cool. There's some cut mullet. Might get something. Today I'm gonna show you how to uh, tie a leader on braid. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. All right, and then you go under. You pull it through, right? Pull it through. Uh huh. There, and you can take a little bit for it perfect. Yeah. So what that what that little bit of saliva does is it helps it clench down, and it's gonna look super clean just like that. See how it's called a clench knot? So you pull it down. It clenches down together, ain't going anywhere, man. We've been using that it's knot for kids. years, man. That's there it. you go. And don't, you don't go. litter. Don't litter, put it in your pocket. Put it right there. Nice. Always gotta carry some zip ties just in case, huh? Yep. See? It is new. There you go, man. Push it down from the metal first. I don't think the water's gonna be that cold, man. Jeez. Hopefully we can get something, guys. At least some whiting, bro. That'd be that'd be nice. Let me take this rod over there for Jeremy. Oh. Stuck in the machete. There we go. Yeah, yeah. It got a little cold, right? Huh? Said it got a little cold. Look right there. See how it's brown? That's the first where the see where that second one's breaking? Over right, there. right over that one. Because you already cast the one. That sucks. That's all right. You got it wet? Oh. And it's not gonna fit. It's a little tight. Nice. Totally not prepared, man. Now 
And we just sit and wait, man. We don't get anything about an hour or 30 minutes, we'll move on. Do you remember last time we were catching them when there was a bunch of uh, shells on the ground? Damn, I'm actually hungry already. Man, even I mean, if we catch a stingray, fuck it. If it goes up like that and down, that's normal. But if it goes like that, twitch, 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 twitch. We got some tacos. Uh huh. That's the uh, chicken, right? Oh yeah, boys. The chicken fajita action. Get him, baby! Get him, baby! Get him, baby! Oh yeah, dude! Oh! <laughs> Got him. Yeah? Oh, on the cut of it? Oh, it came off. Damn, man. False alarm, man. God damn it, dude. <laughs> damn. <laughs> oh, I think you're busting me. Oh, you got one, dude. A little fish. Oh, hell yeah, dude. A little fish bite. That was a catfish. Ah, oh, that's a catfish. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, boys. Right. Yeah! <laughs> Did we get uh, the pliers? Luckily, I bought some pliers. All right, how do you take them off, Jim? Always use pliers. Why do you gotta use pliers, Jim? Because they got stingers on them. What are the stingers? Watch, it's gonna get all over my taco. The right there. Right here. That bad boy will cause a bad day, man. This two. Yeah. This one. So the way you hold these. How do you do it, Jim? Oh, what am I shoot! Damn, oh. you can't do anything with you like that, huh? <laughs> Just for the video. <laughs> Dark. So long, buddy. My brother tried to flirt. My brother was trying to flirt with the taco lady at Stripes, and uh, it looks like it paid off, man. Got a little bit of extra meat on this bad boy. About two tacos, guys. One for every hour, one for every two hours, and then I already ran out of tacos. Spike, mullet. Oh, mullet. Eight ounce. Yeah, that's an eight ounce weight? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Thousand pound test line. Thousand pound test line. Send it, boy. Oh no. Pick up your trash, guys. Oh, a, she's a slippery devil. Oh. Ah, ah, got it. Right there, dude. That's it, dude. Always pick up your trash. Think I can use an eight ounce or what? I think it needs to get a little deeper. So I was using a like a four ounce spider weight, man. And what happened was when I was casting that bait out there, it was hitting the water and it was getting dragged. It was getting moved around a lot. So I didn't like it. So I ended up switching over to an eight ounce weight and I made sure that I can hit the bottom. Take this off and we're gonna throw on an eight ouncer cause, cause it's a lot of movement, man, in the current right now. Where's that knife term? Oh, here it is. You got one? False alarm. Okay, hold this one, I'm gonna move it that way. So as you guys can see here, I have a mullet on the top and a fish bite on the bottom. I saw on YouTube, a guy would say that he would put the bait on the bottom on the ground, the way I, the way I just did it right there. And then it would help him get extra casting distance, man. And sure enough, it worked. On the ground. Yeah, we need some legit rod holders, man. Because I know one rod holder for two rods. Yeah. And you just chunk them out there and you're good. That way, when you're looking at the rods, too, you only have to look at one spot and they're like, one's that way, one's that way. So one of the crazy things about surf fishing, man, or actually just fishing in general, you can be fishing for hours and hours and hours. You can be casting and casting, or you can just be here, man, having a good time. And then sure enough, something like this ends up happening. Also really quick, man, I've been fishing with my brothers for years. So part of me, if I get a little bit excited and I end up yelling, man, cause we've been fishing for a long time and every time we catch a fish, I always get excited. Larry, let's go! Oh, I got it, baby! Woo! What is it? Hey, it's something big! It's something big, Jeremy! Jeremy! Come on, baby! Get it the long way, get it the long way. There you go. Let's go, baby! Let's go, bro! Oh, it's, it's a shark, dude! It's a shark! Woo! 
Let's go, baby! Oh, yeah, it's a shark, dude. No, for real, it's a shark, dude. It's a, it's a shark. Let's go, baby! Is it a shark or a stingray? Or a stingray? It's a shark! <laughs> Woo, dude! Oh, it is! I got one, baby! Shark! Yeah, yeah, dude! Dude! So for those that are watching at home, man, why am I bringing it up like this? And I'm probably going to break my rod. I ended up not breaking it. But I was told, man, if you're going to be catching shark, you don't want to be dragging them on the sand because all that sand, all those little crystals are going to get into the gills and they're going to end up die dying. So what I did was I picked them up and I sat them down nice and easy before I got them out of the water. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm picking them up because don't drag them because if you drag them, if you drag the fish, uh -huh. the shark on, along the ground, all the sand's gonna go into the gills and it's gonna mess it up. So I'm trying uh -huh. to pick it up, put it down, take the hook off, then we'll take a picture. Bring me the pliers, Jim. Got it. Thanks. Oh, yeah. On the eight ounce. Holy smokes, man. Shark, dude. Okay, let me give my left hand. A shark, bro. My first shark ever, dude. There you go. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Wanna take a picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. i just record it, then he's pretty Okay, shot. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try to take a vet as well. Yeah, the one on the knee, the way you put him down like that, dude. Yeah, dude. Ready? Yeah. Try to take some try to take some pictures too real quick. It's, it's my first one. I'm a little excited. Ready? Hold on, hold on. Show my face. Show my face. There you go. Hey, oh my God! Right it's right weird. Yeah. Eh? But no, it, he'll get you there. Right behind his, right behind his, uh, the the gills. Don't get the gills. That's how you mess them up. Picture. Yeah. Picture. Hell yeah, dude. All right, hold on. This? Yeah, pick him up just a little bit. Right there. Okay, let me get, let me get another one. Okay, pick up the circus. Let me get him a little further in there. Right there. Woo. Yeah, there you go. See him? Damn, dude. Got him. Yeah, heck yeah, dude. That was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, I put a, I put a cut mullet on top and a, and a shrimp on bottom. A shark, bro. I'm gonna throw, throw it back, throw another one out there. I have a shrimp on there, but I'm gonna put another mullet on this one because that's what hit that last one, a big ass piece of mullet just like that, right on the eye, small hook. So you can still hook up to a redfish if there's a redfish in the area. There's a lot of birds that are working right here, so I'm gonna try to cast in that little. I'm gonna try to walk in the water and cast in that trough right there. Right about there. That's where I want it. Right there. Cast it right where I wanted it, man. Right in that little. Look at those birds, dude. Jeez, it's crazy. Oh, my bad. Yeah, you can actually keep those sharks. So you can keep those sharks. Oh, yeah? It's an Atlantic shark. It's gotta be 24 inches. You can keep it and eat it. Uh, I know, that would've been a badass catch. Catch cook. Got another 20 minutes, guys. But fun fact, man, you gotta make sure you pick up all of your trash. We got some good stuff here, so we're gonna make a bag for the good stuff that we're gonna use again next time. Like that, that, the hooks, knife. Try to wash it off with some fresh water, man. Not that thing. That thing's gonna go bad. 
Shout out to STX Tackle Man for these pliers that I've been using for a while now. They actually work pretty good even, even in the salt water. But the point is, man, to try to always pick up your trash because there's people out here that just literally throw everything away, man. I mean, they literally leave their trash everywhere. You don't want to be that guy. Watch it there. This is my favorite saying right here. What's the saying? What that says. Keep, Keep on, on keeping on, Mr. Joe Dierte. <laughs> yeah. Nice. There's a lot of young kids out there. They're going to be like, Joe Dirt? What's what the hell? What the hell is Joe Dirt? Well, we got some homework, man. Watch Joe Dirt. The sun's already going down, so I'm trying to talk as much as I can right now. That way you guys can still hear me and see me because the GoPro sucks during low light. I'm going to give it another 10, 15 minutes. Apparently, it passed, what, July 19th? July 19th. July 19th of 2023 that you cannot fly drones on the beach anymore so we're still gonna do that if you hit if this video hits 100 likes i will be giving away a free cap what does it say what was the, the verbiage <laughs> it's, de it's dead but you can't fly a drone so either way though once this video if this video gets 100 likes i will be giving away a free cap so another 10 minutes and we'll see we see if we can get something else do we have a fourth quarter fish jeremy oh oh yeah the targeted species right there son little whiting action baby nice nice man that's what we're going for guys so it's a double drop rig single hook one odd the smallest one possible on a uh four ounce or a five ounce spider weight whiting right there that, these bad boys apparently they're like super good to eat there's no size limit on them and uh, you can come out here with the family man for the kids for the kiddos just be careful you might catch a shark by accident yeah. <laughs> nice hell yeah dude fourth quarter fish baby girl whoa it's cold man that water is cold you got him so anyway guys you come you come down here and you pay what is it 12 bucks right to get in yeah, four dollars and uh, i don't know if you guys can hear me because it's a little windy but that's what we were targeting right there whiting double drop rig single hooks with some uh, shrimp fish bites still got another like 10 15 minutes we're gonna see if we can get one or two more whitings or maybe a shark right you never know so we'll see. That is gonna be it, ladies and gentlemen. It got pretty cold, man. So we're gonna call it a day and make sure we can drive back right now before it gets too dark on us and then we can't see anything. I mean, you still have your headlights, but still. All the kids running around. There's a lot of kids running around. Yeah, this is why we wanted to leave a little bit early before everyone does and where you can still see, man. We're just driving and some kids just ran across right now. Yeah, you do have headlights at nighttime, but you gotta just be careful, man. Leave 10, 15 minutes early before the sun goes down so you can get really, really good visibility when you're driving in, right, Jim? Yep. You never know, man. That is gonna be the end of the video guys. Thank you for watching all the way through. Always remember to wash down your truck, your fishing rods, if you're gonna be saltwater fishing. But thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit it to 100 likes and I will be giving away a free cap and I will be doing some more South Padre Island surf fishing. Stick around for the next one, peace.